compared to the amount of tanks that we have, there's no way that these three guys here can kill all of us in time. Hi guys, Maxwell here bringing you another World of Tanks gameplay video, well actually this one is a replay video and this time we Let's are looking go. at the M26 Pershing which is a tier 8 American medium tank. Now I gave people a choice on Facebook whether they wanted to have a video from this tank or the Churchill and the results were people wanted to see the M26 Pershing in action. So we're going to have a match on um, El Haluf or El Camp Uf as people like to call it, because this is a ridiculously camp heavy map. So, right at the beginning of this game, uh, we noticed that we had them way outnumbered in medium and fast tanks. So, a couple of people pinged the right hand flank, or their, yeah, their right hand flank, and said, let's make a move, and a couple of us said affirmative, and that's what we decided to do. So, our plan here is basically just to rush up the side, since we've got a good force of high tiered medium tanks and fast tanks. So our plan was to rush up the side here and take them by surprise. Um, not sure if we all managed to get through here unspotted, probably not. So, But then again, even if they know that all of us are coming, it's going to be pretty hard for them to get into position to stop us really pushing on them. So, let's just see how this game goes. Uh, one thing before the action gets too uh, heavy is I just want to say thank you to everybody who came across from the old channel and subscribed to the new channel and thanks for all of the nice comments on both videos, the one on the old channel and the one on the new channel. It's good to know that you guys are still interested in this content. So it looks like there's an E75 blocking the way and I shoot him in his strongest part. So the E75 is a bit of a brick wall for us to try and get through. Um, it's going to be very difficult. It's got good front armour. I'm not too sure about its gun, but I know it does have good front armour and has a hell of a lot of hit points. So, oh, and there's an IS moving up. So let's see if we just... I think he's trying to just flank us. So we're all just kind of getting roadblocked here and not really achieving anything. So I think the plan now is just charge basically just push out because I mean if you look at the amount of tanks we've got here compared to the amount of tanks that's better compared to the amount of tanks that we have there's no way that these three guys here can kill all of us in time even if they focus on one target with the slow reload times of high tier tanks there's no way we're going to be able to take all of us out so we are just going to run rings around them charge them and ah. bounced on the back of the mighty KV-3 isn't that amazing so yeah we're just going to run rings around them and I don't think any of us got destroyed there so really that is what a good wolf pack of medium tanks is capable of doing capable of really dishing out some serious punishment so my plan here is since he had a quick look at the type 59 there I am going to attempt to flank him and draw his fire while my allies push forward and get the shots in on him. So we'll just reverse up and as you can see there he's decided just to not bother trying to track me anymore because he's not going to be able to hit me. So I just reversed into him to slow down his speed and try and make it impossible for him to get away. I'm not sure if you can hear that but something is making some noise in the background, I don't know what that is. Something must be getting unplugged and plugged back in again. So IS-7 there, so I'm going to try and do the same thing. The problem is the IS-7 has one hell of a mighty gun on it. So I'm just attempting to draw his fire and let our allies run rings around him. Now luckily I think somebody got shot on his turret ring there, because his turret stopped tracking me. Uh, and he decided to switch targets because if he got another hit on me then I was almost definitely dead there um, but luckily he was forced to switch targets so there's one one of our tanks taken out yeah. bounced on the ISM well he's dead anyway so it's time to move across to the far left hand flank and see what 
you need to take care of over there. So there's a Ferdinand over there. There's no way I'm penetrating him from the front. So just got to get out of harm's way and try and get round behind him. Good thing about tank destroyers when you're in a fast, light or medium tank is just try and get in, park behind them so that everybody can just get into a good firing position where they can't hit anybody. So I'm just going to try and keep his attention while someone else sneaks up on the other side. But he's decided that... I'm less of a threat than everybody charging in from the front. Let's just have a quick look over there. Yep. So just try and have a shot at his side armor there. And get in behind him. Oh, is he going to block me? Oh, come on. No, he's trapped him. That's all right. Nice shot. So, yeah. Just sit here and there's nothing he can do. And I think he is the last one he was. So that was what a good coordinated pack of medium tanks is capable of. As you can see, we just came in one side of the base there and absolutely ran riot on them and totally destroyed them. So that is it for today's video. Tomorrow, I'm not sure if it's going to be a World of Tanks video or a different game. I'm thinking I might bring... Well, I'm actually not sure yet, so that hasn't been worked out totally, so... Fingers crossed tomorrow is either going to be World of Tanks or it may be a different game. <laughs> I know that's very vague, but uh, that's how up in the air everything is at the moment. We haven't got a proper schedule worked out yet of what days are going to be, what games and what kind of content. So just bear with us while we settle into a good, nice routine. So thanks very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and like this video because that really helps us out. Uh, the ratings always helps out. And leave a comment if you either want to know something or have something important. Well, not even important. If you've just got something to say, don't forget to leave a comment. So thanks for watching and I will catch you guys tomorrow.